now we're back. I got that EcoFlow Wave 2 finally installed in the back of Vengeance. And I had to make a few things to actually work where the unit can sit inside of my car and vent itself without having to use some of the other tools that it comes with, some of the other hoses that it comes with. Now, today's a bit of a test because today is quite a warm day. Today is supposed to be 90 degrees, 88, 90 degrees down here in Atlanta. And of course, it's gonna be humid, it's gonna be muggy. So today I'm gonna find out if it'll cull that heat. Check it in a second. So the two biggest things is that the unit needs an exhaust and an intake uh, hose ran. So it provides the w window uh, panel for you to actually run those hoses outside. I didn't have those things. So some of the things I made, first and most noticeable thing is I made this quarter window right here. And that quarter window is removable. So on the back of Vengeance, I said, all right, we got to duck the heat outside, all right? Since we had to duck the heat outside, why not make it kind of cool looking? So what I did was I made it look like I, uh, I did some plastic welding and I made it look like a NACA duct turned the other way. To almost give it like a pretty serious like cyberpunk look or kind of like uh, some wastelander, you know, almost jet intake type of look. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, that one was the way to run the hot air out, okay? So let's go inside. So I got the seat down, but as we get in the inside, you can kind of see that I've got the EcoFlow sitting inside there. And what I did was I, I already had a steel seat uh, installed in the back. I, I fabricated a few years back. What I did was I removed one of my kid seats and you can see the other kid seat over there on the other side. I made this tubing go right to the window right here and basically vent out. And as it comes out of the uh, vehicle, the unit is sitting here and I made like a tie down that's actually welded to the steel seat bottom. So the unit is mounted sideways and I made a pretty rudimentary uh, directing uh, uh, top hat or whatever you would call right here and that's to direct it's movable so it can direct which way the cool air goes and basically that's how I got it set so I can try it right so yeah that's how I have it set in there and once I actually fire it up and kind of go down the road as you can see I'm already sweating Lord, it's hot out here. I'm going to see if it actually can cool this thing down. I left it out here for a, about an hour and a half now. And the outside of the car is woo -wee hot to the touch. I could cook an egg on that mug. Let's see. Let me see if my theory is correct. Could be wrong. Came out of my own pocket. But I'm going to give you the honest. So yeah, now we're sitting in the car. Oh man, it is hot in here. I'm gonna turn this thing on and get it going. So I got the EcoFlow running right now. It said 93 degrees on it. 